Habitat 67. Situated in Montreal, Canada, it was an architectural experiment for the 1967 World Fairs Expo. It's an amalgamation of prefabricated concrete boxes that sit randomly together, giving off the impression of electric, ultra-modern townhouses with flavor. Arjuk in Norway The Arjukan people have lived in the shadows for hundreds of years because it was built in a deep valley where the town was built blocks the sun for over six months a year. Locals constantly live in a state of twilight. For the longest time, it was just the fall and winter months that residents could see the sun, and the only way for them to do this was to ride the cable car up the mountains. Gardens by the Bay This Singapore nature park was often mistaken for a futuristic Pandora kind of world. It was developed to turn Singapore into a city in the garden. This progressive thinking has led to the escape of tree plant hybrids that could find a home within a Disney movie. Monkey Island Locals have yet to step foot on the little island in the middle of Liberia River. It's fittingly called Monkey Island because it's home to chimpanzees that are infected with the contagious disease because of a 1970s research project. The project was set up to find a cure for various ailments like hepatitis. Since chimpanzees can't swim, they were placed on the island instead of a cage. Sagrade Familia This unfinished church was created by Anton Gaudi, a Catalan architect, and is a mixture of Art Nouveau and Gothic styles, at least for those that understand the art. For others, it's just a plethora of sci-fi. Rio Tinto River This river looks like something out of a government experiment gone wrong, but it's just pollution that has caused its appearance. It's located near an ancient mine where people extract gold, silver, and copper for more than 5,000 years. The bloody shade is a result of high iron levels that have liquefied in its acidic waters. The Cricket Forest This forest, which can be found in Poland, is made up of oddly shaped trees that snake from the ground before they straighten and grow upright. There's no reason why they grow the way they do, but it's thought humans are the reason for it. Six Flags in New Orleans When Hurricane Katrina roared ashore, the Mississippi, Louisiana, Alabama coastline in 2005, it devastated a swath of land, taking out thousands of homes and businesses. One such business that suffered the Katrina fate was the Six Flags in New Orleans. The owner of the company decided it was beyond repair and have left it untouched since the expensive damage took place.